Hello, I am Sugadan Valloth, welcoming you to this lecture on orthographic projections. In this lecture today, we see the principles of orthographic projections in third angle. We learn the visualization principles of orthographic drawings. We learn how to view the dimensions of objects in the orthographic views. In order to make drawings in orthographic projections, we will see the different types of orientations of planes with respect to the projection planes and their views. We will see the different types of planes on objects and their orthographic views. At the end of this video, there are two exercises which are to be done as assignment number one and submitted before you come for the next class. Recalling the third angle method of projections, we will see that in the third angle method of projection, the object is kept in the third quadrant and the projection plane is in between the viewer and the object. The projection lines are taken towards the projection plane and towards the viewer. Now we get the front view on the frontal plane, the top view on the horizontal plane and the side view on the profile plane. Here we see the three views, the top view, front view and the right hand side view. Here we have to note that the right hand side view is seen on the right side of the front view. Unlike in the first angle method of projection. And this is a symbol representing the third angle method of projection. Now coming to the planes on which the projections are taken. The horizontal plane over which the top view is taken is this one named H. The plane named F is the frontal plane and the plane named P is the profile plane. The three planes are seen here one with respect to the other. Now let us see how the dimensions of an object are seen in the front view, top view and the side view of an object. We see that the width of the object is seen in the front view as well as the top view. The height of the object is seen in the front view as well as the side view and the depth of the object is seen in the side view as well as the top view. In order to make drawings of objects in the orthographic projections, let us see how a plane can be oriented with respect to the projection lines and the projection planes. Now here we see a plane placed normal to the projection plane. When we take the projection of the plane on the projection plane, we see it in the form of a line. This is called an edge view. In this figure, we see the object plane kept parallel to the projection plane. The projectors are giving us the view of the object having the shape of the object as well as the size of the object. This is called the true size and shaped view. In this figure, we see a plane whose projection is taken on this projection plane. The projected view is smaller in size compared to the object plane. This view is called a foreshortened view of the object. This is called foreshortened shape. Size of the view is less than the size of the object plane. In order to make drawings, let us learn how different planes will be placed with respect to the projection lines. There can be a plane normal to the projection lines a plane inclined to the projection lines and a plane obliquely positioned with respect to the projection lines. Let us see what they are. This is showing planes placed normal to the projection lines. The three sides of the object are placed 
parallel to three different projection planes. Therefore, the projection lines also will be normal to the surface of the object. Unlike that, here in this object, we have B, C and A as surfaces inclined to the projection planes. If we view in this direction, the front side of the object, then the surface B is inclined to the frontal plane as well as the horizontal plane. Similarly, the surface C is inclined to the profile plane as well as the horizontal plane. The surface A is inclined to the frontal plane as well as the profile plane. Now here in the three views, the front view, top view and the side view, if I take one of the surface B, we see the foreshortened view of surface B in the top view here and another foreshortened view of surface B in the front view here. Similarly, with respect to surface C and surface A. Going ahead, let us see an oblique surface. The surface B here in this object is an oblique surface. If I take the surface and the projection lines taken towards the principal planes, this surface will be inclined to all the projection lines. And the speciality of an oblique surface is that the view of that will be seen in all three, the top view, front view and the side view. Let us see some characteristics of views taken of cylindrical objects. When we take orthographic projections of cylindrical objects, let us see how they are seen. Here we have an object having a larger cylindrical part merged with a smaller cylindrical part. If I take a view along the axis of the cylinder, we get this view. Here we see the smaller circle representing the smaller cylindrical part and the larger circle representing the larger cylindrical part. And when we take a view parallel to the axis of the cylinder, we get a rectangular view of the cylinder. So he, here we see two rectangular parts of the view representing the smaller cylinder and the larger cylinder. Another characteristics of objects with cylindrical parts is that when a cylindrical part is meeting another surface tangentially, there is no line at the meeting tangential position. Here we see part of a cylinder meeting with a vertical surface tangentially here. And here we see there is no line representing the meeting point or meeting line. The line see, seen here is a hidden line or center line representing the center line of the cylindrical object. Here in this figure also we can see that a cylindrical part of the object is meeting a vertical surface tangentially. At this position where the cylindrical surface is meeting tangentially, there is no edge formed or there is no line seen here in the view. With these principles, now we are in a position to draw orthographic projections. Before we proceed to the drawing of orthographic projections, let us see or conclude the visualization principles of orthographic drawings once more. First of all, a flat surface is oriented perpendicular, parallel or inclined to a plane of projection. All flat surfaces 
appear as either a line, a plane of true shape and size or as a plane of foreshortened size. Thirdly, all surfaces appear in every view. With this understanding of orthographic projections, let us do an assignment with three exercises. I am sorry, two exercises. After this slide, we will see two slides with two different exercises. In each of them, either a table or a drawing is to be made as per the requirement in the exercise. You are required to make them and submit it before you come for the next class. Let us see the exercises. Exercise 1 seen here. Here in this we have an object with different surfaces named with different letters. Here we have the third angle projection of the object. We have different views here which are numbered. These views are of different surfaces on the object. Your exercise is to match the numbers to the letters here. Let us proceed to the next, next exercise. Here we have 12 different objects named A, B up to L. And here we have 10 different orthographic projections. For example, orthographic projection 1 here, the top view, front view and side view is seen here. This orthographic projection may correspond to any one of the objects shown here. Your exercise is to match these numbers to the letters corresponding to the object. Do this exercise before you come for the next class and submit it. Thank you.